Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome back to another YouTube video. We're still going through a little safari ride, a little uh, journey and escapade through the dark web in this educational, scientific, and artistic documentary, right? This is all for the sake of education. It's all for learning. It's just for trying to see what we can see. And with the reminder, with the whole moral and the, the thesis that I want to get across for this series of videos is that, look, anyone can do this. Anyone can take a look and just... If you have the stomach for it, if you have the know-how, you can really see what's going on on the dark web. <laughs> and you know, I, I hate that term, that name. It sounds so stupid. But whatever, we're having fun. In the last couple of videos, in the very first video, we got ourselves started with Tails Linux. So we have an operating system that is a little bit more fine-tuned for privacy, for security, for that. <laughs> and uh, now we're using the Tor browser. And we learned a little bit in the last video about the different search engines that we could use to find these onion websites or find the Tor hidden services. So now we're ready for the fun stuff. Now we're going to get to some of the weird, creepy, strange, and shady websites that uh, you maybe you might be able to stumble across on the dark web. So let's get to it. Let's get after it. I'll hop over to my computer screen here and you'll notice I have Amia up. Now, Amia is the one, it's the search engine that I had suggested. Uh, it's the one I have been using to kind of find my way around. And I want to stroll through Amia with something that we might be looking at in this video, but I also still want to showcase some of the kind of staged and canon ready ones that I wanted to present to you. Because in this video, I want to uh, shine the spotlight on how you can hire a hacker or rent a hacker, or, uh, I don't know, take in these cybersecurity skills, everything that we kind of do on this channel, more for education, for learning, for the white hat sense, for doing good things to better and protect security, and the really interesting duality of the, the dark web kind of counterpart. So you might work your job, and you do security things to benefit the world, <laughs> and, I don't know, provide better, good, better security, uh, there is a weird mirrored projection of you in this underground world of the dark web that is more interested in doing these things that could wreak havoc, that could completely damage an organization, hinder security in whatever sense, and uh, that's just a paycheck for them. They take it at face value. They don't care what it costs, what it costs to the uh, receiving or ending organization. They just care about getting their job done. So let's take a gander. Let's take a look. I want to showcase some of these really interesting, <laughs> really interesting sites. Uh, so this is Rent a Hacker. Uh, and this one I think is kind of peculiar because it's like this guy is going out and putting on his own resume, his own CV, putting it out to give the world, hey, I'm an experienced hacker offering his services, uh, parentheses, illegal. <laughs> Illegal hacking and social engineering is my business since I was 16 years old. Never had a real job, so I had the time to really get good at hacking, and I made a good amount of money the last plus or minus 20 years. I've worked for other people before. Now I'm also offering my services for everyone with enough cash here. Look at that, man. They're all in it for the money. They're all in it for the money. I'm not doing this to make a few bucks here and there. That's weird. That's very antithetical to what I just said. I'm not from some crappy... Uh, location, and I'm not going to say that out loud to, uh, you know, offend the world. Happy to scam people for 50 currency. I'm a professional computer expert who could earn this amount of money an hour with a legitimate legal job. So stop reading if you don't have a serious problem worth spending some cash at it. Prices depend on a lot of the problem you want me to solve, but minimum amount for smaller jobs is 250. You can pay me anonymously using Bitcoin. Ooh, now this is a trend. Now this is something that we'll see time and time again, especially as we're looking through this. Cryptocurrency is the way now. Bitcoin, Monero, Ethereum, Doge, whatever the heck you want. Uh, that is now going to be the hackers market. That's going to be their crypto, their, dollar value of choice, right? And it makes complete sense. We'll, we'll talk about this more in a lot of later videos, but that's, it, it adds their own anonymity. Uh, it adds a little bit of safety and security for the bad guys, because once that money is sent, it can never be retrieved back. Yeah. So whatever, we'll talk about it more. Technical skills, some, uh, ooh, 
Web, scene, C++, and assembly. Zero-day exploits. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I want to see some CVEs attached to this guy. Highly personalized Trojans, bots, distributed denial of service. Spear phishing attacks that accounts from selected targets. Basically, anything a hacker needs to be successful. If I don't know it, I'll learn it very fast. You got you to gotta give, uh, give props to that determination and drive. If only we, <laughs> we could strive to have that much grit. Social engineering skills, very good written spoken phone calls, English, Spanish, and German. If I can't hack something technically, I'll make phone calls or write emails to the target to get the needed information. I've had people make things you wouldn't believe really often. Oh, yeah. A lot of experience with security pack practices inside our big corporations. He says, I'll do anything for money. If you want me to destroy some person's business or person's life, I'll do it. What? <laughs> How are these real? <laughs> okay. Look at this. Look at this. This is real. That's why I wanted to bring this to you. That's why I wanted to showcase some of this stuff. Following prices are estimates. So yeah, like, hey, here's a breakdown of numbers. Here's a breakdown of what things cost. But it obviously, it's going to be dependent on the case, right? It's very subjective. You can get a, an idea of what these might be. But if you kind of go in here to buy now. Oh. Looks like I need to create an account or register an account. Bro, we should do it. <laughs> we should try it out. Uh, I want to explore the rest of this website. This products page, it looks like it brings us right back, yeah, to the original homepage. The FAQ, though, the frequently asked question, powered by Tor Shops. That would be something we can take a look at maybe in another video. Tell others about this shop. Earn a 1% discount. Wait, wait, er Earn 1% from every purchase they make. Simply give them this link for the onion link with a variable ref, uh, your username. Replace your username with the actual username on this website and earn directly or get earnings directly sent to your wallet. What a deal, right? Look at this, <laughs> look at this actual like business. This actual, they, they have it all. Figured out. You may choose between many exchanges and marketplaces to fund your Bitcoin address in your account, depending on your location and available payment methods. And they link to a couple different uh, locations for, for Bitcoin stuff. <laughs> That's unreal. That's unreal. We should add it to the to-do list to go and, you know, register an account on this website and see what we can see what we can do this other one I, i've got a few more and maybe in this video we, we won't end up going searching but i can record a second one for this because this is where the fun happens i'm telling you and i think now we're getting the real stuff and i hope this is kind of interesting hacking services contact request services you got a email account over here we could access and now let me put my disclaimer right let me let me say Obviously, I have no idea if any of this is remotely legitimate or actually factual whatsoever, and I don't pretend to know and I don't want to know. You as the audience, you as the viewer, uh, shouldn't, don't care about this. Uh, I, you know, I know in releasing a certain amount of videos on this sort of thing, there might be a cluster of folks or individuals that are like, whoa, bro, can you really hack my my Instagram, my girlfriend's Facebook, my, my neighbor, my spy on the people that live with me? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Do not do any of those things. <laughs> but look at how th there's gen literally a space for this that exists in the world it it exists that is kind of what i wanted to spotlight because that still blows my mind and i hope it does the same for you um <laughs> and now i realize so i'm recording this video in uh a, a second uh sitting when i recorded the previous videos so maybe i'm a little bit more boisterous and have a little bit more energy uh <laughs> when i was a little bit more level-headed in the last one but i, I still want to bring this to you with like a clear head and that look at this stuff i i am hyping it up to explain like wow this is insane because it is but i also want to like i'm not spreading fear uncertainty and doubt and all the spooky scary stuff but hey feel free to contact us you know reach out we got we got people on staff ready to chat we'll reply in maximum 24 hours that's what quite a turnaround guys now this one i think is interesting because like uh, i'm on one page over here this hack sec maybe and this web page is almost identical to this one and i've seen this actually around a couple other times there are, there are other websites that look straight up 
identical. Uh, <laughs> except this is a little bit of higher markup. <laughs> Asking for the same stuff, just uh, costs more money from the Corland team. Uh, Corland at secmail.pro. They're like, you know, WhatsApp hacking, social media hacking, it goes on and on and on. Two, two factor authentication bypass, custom ransomware. Bro, do, do you remember WannaCry? They earned over uh, $100,000. The funniest thing is that they bought ransomware from us. That. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't have a whole lot of, I don't hold a whole lot of water to that, truth be told. DDoS attacks can range up to $2,000. Why? But seriously, look at look at the markup from these other ones. How much is a DDoS for them? Two hundred, bro. It's the, you accomplish the same thing. <laughs> I mean, are they the exact same descriptions back and forth between these sites? They are. The only thing that's different. <laughs> the only thing that's different is the price tag. That's insane. Same background? Oh, this site doesn't have a background. They don't have the matrix code and the hacker and the hoodie in the back. Wow. I thought you guys might appreciate that one. <laughs> Here's another one that is very much like a resume or someone just kind of, hey, putting themselves on the internet with their own website. Like, check it out. This is who I am. This is what I can do. Uh, Chromo9 is our fella here. Um, and I don't know if I had a name for... Our original rent a hacker fellow, but <laughs> I guess it doesn't. You know, the whole point is to kind of be anonymous. I don't know, Chromo Nine, whatever. It's a hacker handle. It's an alias. Social engineer, penetration tester, digital forensics investigator, and cybersecurity consultant. Hashtag opsec. Hashtag infosec. Hashtag opsec. Hashtag osec. Why are you using hashtags, man? This isn't Twitter. Is there a tour Twitter? <laughs> Professional services are social engineering. That's everything that you said up top. Uh, operational security, information security, blah, blah, blah. This, but leg leg legitimately, grade changing in schools and universities, credit card debt cancellation, personalized software. This is when you get into their custom malware, like, hey, hey here, here's a rat. Uh, Trojans and backdoors, key loggers, monitoring, tracking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I like then uh, advanced web attacks and exploitation, AWAE. I think he's straight up referring to the fact that he has a like OSWE training. You know, AWAE is the course for advanced web attacks and exploitation. I, I feel like that's a call out to his training in offensive security. Here's an email address to contact, but man, his website needs to be updated. 2015 to 2020. We're living in 2021, man. I don't know if this is meant to be a copyright. There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing actually indicating that, but that's that. What else do we got? Hacker community. This is where you get a little bit more of the like spooky art decals, the hoodie, dark Thing. Hacker community, the most advanced and trustable hackers of the darknet. Index, contractor, score, and availability. I like that the availability is either green or red. He's either absolutely available or not at all. What, do you th what does that even mean? Is the guy dead? Because if he's not available whatsoever and it's in the red, uh, he's either gone or gone, gone. DPHS, Root Dogs, Odin, Fat Rat. So these, these are clearly, again, uh, like aliases or hacker handles, not obviously not a real name. And the index, I guess, is just numbering these individuals. And their score of hacking, being, being a advanced and trustable hacker. The services we provide are hacking web servers, computers, and smartphones, malware development for any operating system, social media hacking, change grades in schools and universities, getting private information from someone that exploits children's backdoors, Android rack, key loggers. SQL injection attacks, DOS attacks, phishing attacks to get passwords from selected targets, forensics data analysis, password recovery, and every other project related to hacking. If you have a problem, or if you have a project, go ahead and contact us. Secmail.pro. That one looks pretty common. Like, we've seen secmail.pro. Okay, there's a Proton Mail one, which is another anonymous, or at least safety-oriented um, mail service. But secmail.pro is what Corland is using over here. Same thing with hacker services. And... Did, was there an email address for our boy Rent-A-Hacker? 
No, not yet. Ooh. Ooh. So that is a quick little showcase of some interesting websites here on the dark web. Uh, but that was just a small, small sample, right? If we were to get started with Amia, if we were to try and search for some others, we can see some other super interesting ones. And uh, part of me wants to see how far can we go uh, on, other, on some of these other websites. Like Rent a Hacker, if we register and sign up, what does it take? What can we do? Um, what, what does that checkout process look like? I don't think there's more we can uh, do over on these core lands and, and hacksec ones because there's not a lot else to the web page. Clicking around these, you just have to contact them. Uh, hire a hacker. This is again, just a resume. We could email these guys. That would be kind of interesting to see what's up. Maybe that would be a good video Let's if we email. Is this a site counter? If I refresh the page, Oh, shoot. That's literally a site counter for how many people view the page. 50,205. <laughs> All right. Well, dang. Uh, that's it. That's it. That's enough of this video. I think I spent enough time kind of cruising through here, but I hope that was interesting. I hope that was kind of fun. Uh, it's insane what you can track down and what you can find on here. And we're just going to do more and more of it. That's what the rest of this series is going to be, is just exploring uh, some of the spooky, strange things that you can see on the, on the dark web. But again, educational, documentary. Please don't take me out, uh, uh, internet platform that I happen to post videos on and, and re <laughs> reside on. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having fun with this series, and I hope you're excited for more, because I am. I think this will be a good one. And please do those YouTube algorithm things. If you did like this video, let me know what you think. Press that like button, leave a comment, subscribe. And if you'd be willing, please, maybe, uh, maybe send some love over on uh, Patreon or PayPal or whatever you're comfortable with. I'm super, super appreciative of the support. All right, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.